All right, everyone. So today I wanted to do a special video for you guys, considering that this year prices are at an all time high for fireworks, considering that pretty much fireworks are in their greatest shortage that they've had in a long time. I wanted to arrange a special video for you guys to do a kind of fireworks show on a budget type of video. Um, so what I did was I went to Southern Boom Fireworks in Smyrna, Tennessee over at um, Nissan Drive and Jefferson Pike. And I went in and said that I would spend $150 before tax and see what that would get me. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through the items that I wound up buying and then I'll tell you about the total and hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna start off with the small stuff. Um, I got two packs of little crackling balls by World Class, nothing too crazy. Um, I decided to go on ahead and buy some of these. These are Starball Contributions. This is the Boomer version. I have never actually seen these anywhere I've visited. This is the first time I've ever seen these little guys anywhere I've been to. So I bought not one, but I bought a whole six pack of them as well. So I bought seven of these guys in total. These are amazing little things. They spin on the ground. They shoot some sort of like flame or sparks. And then they're supposed to shoot up if they work correctly. We'll see if the one that I have that I bought separately actually works. I'm going to be keeping at least one of these, at least uh, some of these to the side just for keeps because I never have seen these things before. Um, but moving on from there, I got a little hundred strip of glass crackers by World Class. Just, you know, standard firecracker strip. I think it was only like a dollar, a dollar fifteen for these, which tent markup, it's pretty crazy that they were still uh, that low priced. Now moving on to the bigger stuff I was able to get. I got a little Dark Ghost. This is a little nine shot cake by World Class. The performance is red, green, blue tail to red, green, blue sparkler with crackling. I have no idea what that means. That's very vague. Um, moving on from there, uh, what about pull up next? I got a frosty mug of beer. This is a fountain by World Class. This is actually a pretty old product now. Um, I don't think that it's even still in production. So it was actually pretty interesting to see one of these guys. Um, and I've been wanting one for a while. So I said, screw it, why not? Let's go ahead and pick this up for the budget video. I'll sit that over to the side over here. And yes, that is there for a reason. We'll find that out in just a second. Uh, from there, I got this cake called Reckless by World Class. I've seen this thing before. I don't remember how many shots it is. I think it's 16 shots, something like that there. So we'll just go with 16 shots. If not, I'll edit it out. Um, so the performance on this cake is a multi-shot repeater that shoots a dynamic display high into the sky. Start with a red crackling chrysanthemum with red tail, then a crackling with chrysanthemum with white tail. Lastly, a crackling blue chrysanthemum with blue tail. The finale is all effect in a running fire. So, three or four shots at the same time. Okay. Interesting way of wording that world glass. Um, from there, I got three of these assorted, I want to say these are like seven shot cakes. Six shots. Okay, so it looks like that one's six shots. That one's six shots. I assume that the third one is also six shots then. This one doesn't even have the shot count on it, so I'll just assume that it's six shots too. Um, but I got these three um, assorted six shot little um, hexagonal cakes by World Class. Uh, Bell Ringer, Cruising for a Bruising, and Begging for Mercy. I've seen these cakes seem to hit pretty well for the price and they were also pretty cheap, so can't go wrong with them. So this one in particular, Bell Ringer, is six shots white palm red dahlia with red tail. Cruising for a bruising is six shots red peony white pearl red tail. And then begging for mercy is gold pearl white strobe gold tail. Ooh, I might like, I might really like that one. Um, let me clear out some space for this next cake here. Um, moving on from there, I got a 49 shot Gorilla Chopper 
uh, Fan Cake 200 Gram by World Class. And it's supposed to be a really nice cake too for the size and for 200 grams. So the performance on this guy is Red Palm, Green Palm, Yellow Palm, and Silver Palm. So that's 49 Shot Gorilla Chopper by World Class. And last one, though, certainly not least, let me get this off of here. Dramatic reveal. I got two 500 gram cakes for this budget video as well. I uh, was not expecting to get them at all. In fact, I wasn't really expecting to be able to buy a 500 gram cake for this budget video. Um, but here we are with not one, but two of them. And both of them seem like they're going to be pretty good hitters. So I got 16 shot 500 gram Inferno Punch by World Class. Okay, so their performance on this one is Color Stars Dahlia with White Glitter Mine. One, Deep Red Lemon Stars with White Glitter. Deep Red Jade Green Lemon Stars with White Glitter. Jade Green Deep Red Lemon Stars with White Glitter. Didn't they just... Okay, uh, that... Alright. <laughs> um, so that is Inferno Punch by World Class. And then last but most certainly not least is the 20 shot 500 gram Freaking Hot by World Class. The performance was literally right up here. It took me way too long to find that. Um, so the performance in this cake is Gold Willow Green Glitter with Blue Stars. I know that sounds kind of underwhelming, but I was able to look up this video. Shout out to Skimpy and his video that he did on this cake. This thing looks like it hits. Um, I am hoping that mine hits even remotely as hard as what Skimp Bees look like. Uh, it did. Because if it does, I think I might have a new favorite world class cake, uh, especially for the price. Speaking of price, the total on this entire purchase three, four, five, six 200 gram cakes, a fountain, a bunch of novelty stuff, and two 500 gram cakes. It was supposed to be $149.71 before tax. I was able to get some sort of $10 off deal, so it wound up being $139.71, which meant that it was just over $150 after tax. So technically, I even kind of went under budget from what they uh, gave me. I could have technically gone up to $160. Had I known that, I would have totally done that. Now, this is missing a pack of Texas Pop Rockets by Boomer. I don't know where they are. I'll have to check the trunk. And if not, I'll have to go back to the tent. Yay. Um, but there should be a 12-pack of Texas Pop Rockets by Boomer in the stash as well. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm very excited to demo all of these. I don't think I have a demo for any item in this entire... Any of the cakes. I definitely don't have a demo for any of the cakes or the fountain in this entire stash. So, look forward to a bunch of new demo videos sometime look forward to those videos and uh let me know what stashes you guys have got so far the final stash video will come out eventually um i believe this is my last purchase actually i know this is my last purchase of the season i've spent way too much money and now i have to shove everything together for the stash video that's gonna be fun um i'm gonna try and have that out by thursday or friday I'm probably going to put it all together tomorrow. I was going to originally not do it until Thursday night, but I think I'm going to have to put it together tomorrow because otherwise it will never get edited on time. And I already have a lot to do. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Look forward to at least two more videos, possibly three before the fourth hits. Um, I might try and get a demo video out or two as well um, from last year's products. But no guarantees on that. I have a lot coming up. I have a lot to do. And this is just going to add even more to that list. So anyways, hope your 4th of July goes well. And hopefully you're able to find plenty of product in this year of scarcity.